It's time for Ruth Epstein from the Republican American. Ruth covers our area for the Republican American. Uh, and, of course, you can find her stories in the paper. Home delivery at newsstands or at Robin at Robin Radio at uh, rep-am.com. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Marshall. How are you today? Good. We made it through another nice weekend. We did. It was a busy one. We had the um, Mutt show up in Cornwall. Uh, for Little Guild on Saturday, and then we had the West 40th anniversary celebration at the Grove yesterday. So it was a busy, busy time, but a beautiful weekend. And in between those two things, you had uh, the Sharon Daycare Center, of course, classic uh, uh, road race, and also up in North Canaan, uh, they had uh, their road road race on Sunday put on uh, by the by the brewing company there. Mm. So lots to do um, as we start chill- getting a little chilly out here. Um, so. Yeah. Get it all in now. A um, couple of things at the high school, as you may have seen. Carl Gross, the special education director, is leaving. Um, he's uh, being at least replaced in for the interim by Martha Schweikert, who's been his assistant. She's the uh, special ed supervisor. And then we had a story about a teacher who's leaving and, a, and Principal Ian Strever making a plea when that announcement was made, saying uh, we need affordable housing yeah. for young teachers. Uh, and, you know, that still comes home to roost with everything else that's going on with affordable housing in the in the area. This is this is a, an example of, of someone, you know, uh, who can, couldn't find a place and, and moved closer to where the jobs were. And, and you know, I can, uh, my daughter Karen uh, started t- teaching in Connecticut, special ed teacher. Mm-hmm. And, uh, she ended up moving to Virginia Beach. Uh, she was paid about, I think, about twenty-five percent less. Okay, for 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 a salary, mm-hmm. but the housing costs were close for her uh, to fifty fifty to sixty percent less. Yeah. Well, that tells you. And, and she loves it down there, and she's, mm-hmm. and she's, you know, it's it's just one of those things that pe- people don't understand here. It's not only in uh, in Region One; it's all over the state and across the line in New York and in Massachusetts. Right. You don't you don't provide affordable housing where, you know, where teachers can 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 drive maybe ten fifteen minutes to work uh, instead of driving forty forty five minutes. You're just not going to get many qualified candidates, and that's what's happening in the healthcare industry. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, you know, those who who rail against affordable housing, um, you know, should be thinking about these things. And there are so. And again, as we said over and over again, if the volunteers aren't here to mow lawns and and be on the emergency personnel uh, because of no housing, we're really going to be in trouble. Um, we had some stories out of uh, Kent this week. Um, there's a 13 lot subdivision proposed for the northern gateway of the town, and uh, public hearing brought out a lot of opposition. Um, that's um, going to be, the hearing's going to be continued in October. Um, we also had a, a proposal from New Vance to use the senior, part of the senior center for a telemedicine place, and uh, there, there's going to be some, there's some concerns there as well, and, uh, you know, taking the senior center for another purpose. So uh, that too will be uh, will be following that story as well. Um, there's the Cogswell Bridge in Cornwall continues to be a, of concern. This little bridge that was redone uh, was put in uh, with a new uh, galvanized wiring and, and railings, and the folks in the area, as well as those around the town, are not happy with it. So. Uh, the con- talks continue as to how to alleviate some of that look. Uh, again, that will be a continuing uh, talk. Um, looking ahead, Marsha, we have uh, the um, Sharon Board of Selectmen on yep. Tuesday, I believe. Um, the governor is going to be speaking to the Democratic Coalition via Zoom um, tonight. Um, the uh, hospital is holding a... Um, a presentation on Wednesday, and people are. Um, somebody came up to me and said, "What's going on there?" There's, you know, talk of some transformation. So we don't know what that will bring. And next Saturday, we have two walks for women here in Kent and at uh, 
in Salisbury um, as a result of, of the, uh, the legislation that's going on about women's re- reproductive systems. So um, lots going on. Now, is Kent going to do their Halloween thing like they normally do, or is that going to be a put-off again this year? I don't know. We are... Park and Rec Director is, has left. We have an interim, so I'm not sure where we stand with that. Because P- Pittsfield canceled theirs. Uh, it they, did, they, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but, the, but the one in Kent had grown into something to be so big before the pandemic. Yeah, with the uh, dancers. Yeah. And the, <laughs> yeah. I would I, I would imagine it would be on a lesser scale, but um, it's a Sunday night, and that's a pretty good night for, you know, for romping. So I, we'll have to find out about that. I don't know. All right, uh, and uh, and you put your costume on, Marshall, and do your thing. I don't need a costume. <laughs> I, my uh, costume so games busy, game supply. Busy times, and uh, I'm reminded there's there's going to be um, uh, vaccinations available at the high school this Friday. Yes, and they're starting to give booster shots at some of the high watch down here and um, a few other places. You so. just have to look at your card, and as long as you're six months past your your last booster and you uh, have to have had pfizer at this point pfizer that's right and yeah. uh, i still got about a week or two to go before i can get my my booster shot mm-hmm. um and uh and it's right now it's recommended for anybody uh, over 65 and anybody that also uh, uh has any mm-hmm. compromised conditions so right right so you got yours down here too didn't you yep. yeah and i'll probably follow up and do it the same way yeah mm-hmm. all right ruth i want you to have a good week and i want you to the same and we will talk again all right take care ruth. thanks Marsha. ruth epstein the republican american report here on robin hood radio once again you can find ruth at rep-am.com